Yo guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to Rule of Two Review. Now I know if you were following me on Twitter, you probably saw me posting about how crazy stupid sick I am with some kind of dumb winter flu. It's just totally kicking my ass in the face right now. It sucks, and I did talk about how I thought I might not be able to make a video, but I forced myself through a full day of work, and I felt, you know what, maybe I can come home and force myself to get on camera and just do okay. When I'm being active and talking to you guys, it's almost like I can fake myself into not being sick, so hopefully I sound okay, and hopefully my energy level is where I want it to be to make a good quality video for you guys because what we have to talk about today is pretty fun. We're talking about Zelda, we're talking about games, we're talking about the Switch. So what we're talking about today is basically a question that I was posing to myself and then I of course wanted to pose to you guys uh, in a broad topic on a video so that I can kind of discuss my feelings on this whole idea. What I wanted to discuss is with the oncoming onslaught that is Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is going to be like a 10 million hour adventure that we're all going to be playing like crazy on our brand new Nintendo console, the Nintendo Switch. It's a big deal that this game is coming out the way it is, the time it is, and launching for the system that it's launching for. So I wanted to kind of ask you guys, ask myself and discuss if Zelda Breath of the Wild could potentially be the very best launch game of all time. Now this is no small question and it's no easy answer because there's actually been a handful of really great launch titles over the years. Of course, notoriously consoles launch with not great games. That's kind of what we're what what is known within the video game industry and whenever a new console launches, it's more common for a console to launch with bad games than it is really good games. But on those rare magical occasions, we get something super super special and a lot of us can probably count on our one hand the amount of times we've gotten that really excellent game. And it seems like Zelda Zelda Breath of the Wild is the next game upon us that is going to count within that category as something truly special and magnificent in an absolutely spectacular game, whether it was at the end of a console's life cycle, the Wii U, or the launch of a brand new one, the Nintendo Switch. Now, a few days ago, I also posted on Twitter a poll because I just kind of wanted to throw the question out into the internet wilds to you guys and kind of just see how you felt about it when I asked you, do you think Zelda Breath of the Wild will be the best launch game of all time? And as you can see, according to the poll here, that most of you said, yup, an overwhelming amount of you feel like Zelda Breath of the Wild is probably going to be the very best launch game of all time. So now I want to get into the nitty gritty of kind of what I feel, and it should be noted that I'm not, I'm not really stating this as like fact, this is really just my opinion, because the, just the nature of this question and dissecting games, especially when one, when, you know, the main game it, at being questioned hasn't even released yet, it's all subjective, man. Like, this is really just my opinion. I can't tell you guys, yes it is or no it won't. I can tell you what I feel and what I think based on my history, and also the fact that a lot of you know I did even just play Breath of the Wild on the Switch this past weekend. So that's really the only experience I have to talk to you about. So I'm not telling you what the definitive answer is. I'm just sharing with you what Rob feels might be the answer to this question. So of course, it is tough to answer. Will Breath of the Wild be the best launch title of all time? And it's so hard to answer for many reasons. However, I'm going to quickly just give you my answer before I then go and explain it further. So ultimately, you guys, I'm going to say no. I don't think that Zelda Breath of the Wild will be the best launch title of all time. At least not in my book, not in my world, and in my history of playing video games dating back to when the NES launched and the Atari 2600 before that when I was like two years old, you know. Um, I, I feel like, no, Zelda Breath of the Wild is not going to be. Now, it is the Zeitgeist title, and that's the tricky thing here is when we analyze this question and we look at the hype for this game and how great we know it's going to be, it's the title that's on everyone's mind. It's the newest, freshest version of any possible launch title, because if we talk about prior launch titles, well, we're talking about games in the past, games that already released, games that we've already played, some of us many times, you know, in pretty much every single case, it's for older hardware, whether you're, whether you're going back to, like, Mario Brothers on the NES, or, I don't know, Mario World on the Super NES, or a plethora of other games, Halo on the Xbox, these are games for systems that are outdated. So sometimes it's hard to compare what we know is the newest, freshest, most hot thing and really put ourselves in the right mindset to properly judge something that's that old and in the gaming space also on outdated hardware. Because that can, you know, very reasonably affect someone's perception of a game and the quality of a game and the quality of the system and all that stuff. It's just the nature of, like, the organic nature, I should say, of how we would dissect something like a great launch game. Now, Breath of the Wild, like I said so many times already, it's tricky. It's really, really hard. 
I don't, I, I'm going to tell you guys why I don't really feel like Zelda Breath of the Wild is going to be the best launch game, but it should be noted that I also could be wrong. Just like a lot of you out there who might feel like, yeah, it's going to be the best launch title of all time, like that 88% or whatever of people who answered my poll, you know, it's, what's tough is neither of us have played it fully. Yes, I've played it for 40 minutes, but that was also in a demo setting in New York. That wasn't sitting down on my couch for hours and days and weeks and months on end, just like you guys. You guys haven't played it at all, a lot of you. Some of you have it, at E3 maybe, um, or even at all. And so none of us really have the proper answer, the proper information to be able to really answer this question yet. So you, you, we have to prepare ourselves. It's like, okay, we know Breath of the Wild is going to be amazing, right? It's going to be the greatest 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 friggin' masterpiece, the best Zelda, the best game, the best Nintendo game ever. Like, we all feel that, and we, like, know it's true, but we don't know it's true. And we have to prepare ourselves for the possibility that maybe the game isn't going to be that good. Maybe it's not going to deliver, and we're all expecting 10 out of 10, but what if it turns out to be like 7 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10, or just not that perfect experience we want? And that's something that I think has to be factored into trying to answer this question now, two months before the game even releases. Although, you know, it's tricky because when you talk about Zelda, I guess, it's not like there are bad Zelda games, you know? We, we can expect even the worst Zelda game couldn't possibly be anywhere lower than like a 7 out of 10. I mean, there just aren't bad Zelda games. What? Hey now. Ah! Whoa. Oh. That was weird. Anyway... Moving on. So we know that there aren't bad Zelda games, which probably begs the question why, now several minutes into this video, do I actually think that Breath of the Wild will probably, probably, not be the best launch title of all time? And honestly, you guys, it's because I feel like it doesn't have an opportunity to do enough new. My favorite launch title of all time, and what many people would argue is the best launch title of all time, I even talked about this on a video a month ago, is Super Mario Bros. 64, man, Super Mario 64, 1996 on the 64, I think that is the best launch title of all time. So when I start to think about this question, Breath of the Wild on the Switch, and Super Mario 64 and the 64, when I compare those two, the reason that I just don't think Zelda Breath of the Wild is going to have what it takes to overtake and surpass and usurp, a word that I love to use and don't get to use often enough, usurp the, the crown that is atop Mario's head on Mario 64, is because Mario 64 was almost entirely new. It was newness like no one had ever seen. It was blowing our minds. It was showing us a dimension and graphics and sound and a scale that we had never truly seen. Breath of the Wild is going to be the perfect example of a game design, of a video game, of a Zelda game, of an open world game, of an action game, of an adventure game. It is going to take all these different genres and elements that Zelda has been in the past and that any kind of game could possibly be and probably be the absolute perfect best example of all of those things. However, I don't think there's going to be anything in that game truly new that we've never seen for the first time. The newest thing about it is really more about the hardware, not the game, and that's the simple fact that we can pick it up off the system and take it with us and keep playing the same game. That's what the Switch is giving us that's new, but it's not necessarily what the title of Breath of the Wild is going to be giving us that's new. I mean, evidenced by the fact that it's going to be on the Wii U as well. It's the same game on both systems, just, you know, slightly better looking and sounding on the Switch, but the same game exists on the Wii U where you can't do that. So when we look at the base version of what Breath of the Wild is going to be, I just have a hard time believing it's going to be what Mario 64 did. Now, I understand that I might be talking to a lot of younger gamers and people who either didn't grow up with Mario 64 when it was brand new and blew our balls into pieces, or maybe even tragically have never played Mario 64, which, oh, I could just ah, twist the knife, it's so bad. But I'm telling you guys, Mario 64 was the bee's knees and then the rest. It was so incredible, and it's because everything I just said, it was new. So I'm hoping that any of the older gamers out there who maybe remember playing that game when it was new and didn't go back and play it later and remembered when we went from what the Super Nintendo was giving us to what the Nintendo 64 and that game Mario 64 gave us, it was something truly new. Oh, and then how dare I even forget the controls. The fact that they introduced the analog stick with that game and all of a sudden, the way we play games, not only just the way games look and the way games are made, but also the way we interact and play with them changed immensely. Now, obviously the Switch is adding that to a degree and that does count for something, but it doesn't change how the game truly plays. With the 64, yes, they added the analog stick, which is part of the, con the control system, just like the Switch with the mobility thing is part of that as well. 
but they had to actually program elements of the game and how it plays and feels in Mario 64 around that. Whereas with this, they're not changing the way you interact with the game world or with Link or with the NPCs or with the combat because the Switch can be made portable or not. It's the same controller on any on any way you play it on the Switch, so it just doesn't have the same impact that really the analog stick and the N64 controller did to how Mario 64 was new. So that's why, you guys, in trying to wrap this up, I just don't know that I can say Breath of the Wild is going to be the best, the best launch game of all time. Now, in actually ending this, the last point is, as I stated in this video, I haven't played at all. I've played 40 minutes of this game on the Nintendo Switch, and as incredible as it is, sure, I can't say that I know it's going to be this great experience, but at the same time, it could be. I, I'm not even going to tell you that my answer is definitive, because we have to sit down and play it. I have to sit down and take four, five, six weeks, however long it's going to take me. I'm a busy guy, so it takes me a while to go through big games. And I have to take that time to go through this game and actually size it up and compare it to games like Super Mario 64, like Twilight Princess, like Halo, like Super Mario World, these great, amazing launch titles that have existed in the past. I have to really size it up. So, well, I feel pretty damn good that saying Zelda Breath of the Wild won't be the best launch title of all time. I feel pretty good that that's true. At the same time, I could be wrong, and I won't even mind being wrong. I don't really have a dog in this fight, especially when I'm comparing to Nintendo games of Nintendo franchises that are amazing. Like, I will always love Mario 64 to the end of time, and I'm expecting to feel the same about Breath of the Wild, no matter which of those two games ends up coming out on top. And also, remember, a game being the best launch title doesn't necessarily mean it's the best game, because Breath of the Wild could also be a better game, but not the best example of a launch title the way Mario 64 was an example of a launch title, and ex showing and exhibiting all those great new features and new dimensions that the Nintendo 64 and that game actually gave us. So, there's a lot of stuff going on here, so it's hard to say for sure. Like I said, I'm not telling you what the actual answer is, I'm just giving you my opinion and my guess. Based on a little bit of hands-on time with the game, and also with the fact that I love me some 64, and I feel like that a game like Breath of the Wild doesn't have an opportunity to do enough new things compared to what Mario 64 did. So, I think that's it for now, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Tell me what you think. Did you answer in the poll? What do you feel? Are you one of the probably millions of people I should have guarded myself for the pitchfork, pitchforks that's going to be coming at me for this? Are you one of the many people that probably feel like Breath of the Wild will very likely be the best launch title of all time and surpass Super Mario 64 or whatever previous game you thought? Or are you with me that maybe a game like Mario 64 or a different game that you feel from the past might still hold the crown even after the launch of Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. Share your awesome thoughts below. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob, Overlook to Review, and I will catch you next time on another video. Will you stop that?